Hi, I'm Larry King, and I'd like to introduce you to someone who's been a guest on my show several times. He has a story that's very compelling, and you should listen. Meet Michael Hingson and his loyal guide dog, Roselle, who will take you on a journey into his world, a world without sight. It is a world where teamwork, trust, and creativity are the keys to survival, and where adapting to change is a way of life. Michael never lets his lack of sight get in the way of his dreams. After attaining a master's degree in physics, he went on to pursue a successful 25-year career in computer sales and marketing, until the day his life changed forever. Incredible story. Michael Hinkson has been blind since birth. Michael was on the 78th floor of the World Trade Center, the one building, the North Tower. He was guided out by his guide dog, Roselle, and another colleague. All right, what happened? What do you what do you there remember? Was a, there, was a, there was an incredible bang, um, sort of a, a dull thud, but certainly very tremendous. And then the building shook very violently. And I remember sort of going, God, don't let that building tip over. Uh, Since this world-changing event, Michael has moved to Northern California and joined Guide Dogs for the Blind at their national headquarters in San Rafael. Today, Michael, with his dog, Roselle, travels the world as the national public affairs representative for Guide Dogs for the Blind. It's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Michael Hingson. I've already learned something new here today. I heard the tin, whoop, and then I never did hear Eddie's. It's now seats everybody. Is that a new military command? <laughs> we wanted to carry a message that what guide dogs are really about are not guiding blind people from one place to another, but that guide dogs represent teamwork in action in the most basic and realistic way possible. You all know that you are indeed part of a team. And it's the same thing that happens with Roselle and I when we work together. It's my job to be the team leader. My responsibility is to be able to direct her. Roselle's job is to make sure that we get there safely. It's like when we get to a street corner, I have to tell her when to cross the street. And I do that, physics again, by listening to the traffic. If it's going the same way I want to go, it's safe to cross. If it's going across in front of me, if I step out in front of it, there's that thing about two pieces of matter occupying the same space at the same time. And the bigger piece always wins. <laughs> the fact of the matter is, that there are alternatives that blind people get to use to be able to function in a light-dependent world. Whether it's using a watch that happens to have Braille on. See, I don't even have to look at my watch. I can sit here and stare at you guys, you know. And I can still tell you, if the watch is correct, it's 301. And if it's not correct, it's not 301. But <laughs> the Dale Carnegie sales course always said to turn liabilities into assets. The first letter I wrote was a usual, here's my resume, yada, yada, yada. And the last paragraph said, by the way, I want you to know something about me. And it's the most important thing that you can take into account when you make your decision. And that is that I am blind. The reason it's important is because as a blind person, I have been having to sell all my life just to function and survive. So when you're hiring a salesperson for this job, do you want to hire someone who considers it a job and whose profession it is? Or do you want to hire someone who's been selling all of their life and who really understands sales for the art and science that it is? In our business, it's about perception, knowledge, and understanding. And you you had a great personal and professional message for us that seeing is not perception. And uh, so thank you very much for that message. In the military, it's, it's probably one of the most important things to us to work as a team. There's so many people, none of us can do the job alone, and we all rely on each other. Mr. Hankson and Roselle, showed all of us today that without having that trust and line of communication from both ends that you cannot work as a good team you will not function properly it sets you forth with sort of a new fire and go you know there really is something to be said about the human spirit and what we can overcome and like he says he doesn't overcome it alone he overcomes it with roselle
While at Guide Dogs, I learned one of the most basic and important skills I think that I have ever been taught, and that is the concept of being part of a team and to put my trust in the other team member, specifically, in this case, a dog. I learned that I would be putting my life in that dog's paws every day. And then he yelled, Mike, my God, there's fire above us. There's smoke and there's fire and there are millions of pieces of paper falling outside the window. And David yelled, we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here right now. And our guests began to scream. And I said to David, slow down, calm down. And he said, no, we got to get out of here right now. We can't stay here. We got to get out. There's fire and there's smoke. And I said, David, stop. And he did. Now, here's the blind guy telling the guy who could see the smoke and fire to stop. <laughs> Blindness, in fact, is not the handicap that a blind person has to endure. The real handicap consists of the misconceptions and sometimes very incorrect attitudes that we have about ourselves and that others have about us. I know... His compelling message recalls his experience that day that he his dog, his co-workers, and even total strangers, bonded together through faith and trust. He is an exceptional individual with a very strong human message. It's just an amazing story, uh, the way the two of them work together. I was very moved by, by his talk. It was inspirational. It was very um, appropriate, down to earth, something that they will remember. I'd heard the various speakers on teamwork before, but I think Michael's talk was probably the most compelling that I've heard. It was very, very inspirational. and We can bring all of what he said into our own lives. Through his unique perspective as someone with vision loss and his dynamic partnerships, both human and canine, Michael challenges his audience by exploring the power of true cooperation so we can enrich our lives and make them more meaningful. In the midst of tragedy, we can sometimes find our true strengths. By working together, we can accomplish miracles, but we must have the vision and the courage to embrace and shape our futures. Michael and Roselle are available for speaking engagements and public appearances. For information on how to book Michael for your next event, call 800-295-4050.